To quickly demonstrate a meeting room solution with Teams, uh, this is called, uh, I'll call Teams room system. Um, so when you send a meeting invite uh, to this unit, it will actually show up. Right now is no meeting scheduled. This is a Logitech docking station. Um, I have a um, Surface Pro 4 uh, built in custom Windows 10, but the app that supports Teams meeting is already loaded. And <clears throat> I have a dual monitor, although only one monitor works with the Teams right now, um, but in the future will work in both monitors. I have a Logitech camera. Uh, it has an audio, video, and it has a great remote. I love this remote. You can control the camera, sound, uh, Bluetooth, uh, connections, hang off, mute, speaker, everything from this remote. And also there is an app I heard. I haven't used it yet. You can use it from the mobile app uh, to control this uh, device. And I have uh, my laptop that is going to be uh, used in this demo. And uh, let's talk about this, this docking station for quickly. Um, uh, this docking station, uh, we have this SDMI uh, cable that actually can connect into your laptop to present anything. And you can hit the present button right here and it will show up into the, in the screen. Um, so right now there is no there is no meeting. So what happens if there is no meeting? There is a dial pad. You can hit the dial pad button and you can see there is a, the dial pad just showed up. And you can dial the, like a phone number, like a regular phone. And <clears throat> let me cancel that. And also there is a, you can invite this room. And there's instruction how to invite this room, Teams and Skype. Um, and also new meeting. If you hit a new meeting, this ad hoc meeting. If you don't have a meeting scheduled, you can just come in and hit the new meeting and add invite to people that you know by either phone number or by their email address. Um, and you can just click an invite button. It will be joined to the meeting and uh, people need to accept that meeting, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is the unit. It's very simple. A couple of cables in the back. You can hide those cables. Um, all right, so next step is, so this, this device is actually going to be in a conference room, right? So monitor, camera, and this unit. So when you walk in, you're just going to touch the meeting join button and you join. There is nothing to dial, no, no code, um, uh, no, no phone number to dial. So the, the way it works is <clears throat> either you do ad hoc meeting, like I showed you new meeting, but usually what usually people do is they like to schedule a meeting, meeting room, right? So in your Outlook, Right, so this is a new meeting outlook. I'm just going to hit the uh, Teams new Teams uh, Teams meeting icon. I will click on that. It will automatically show up my dial-in number and join meeting and stuff like that. I'm going to invite this unit <coughs> into uh, into this meeting. Okay, so sorry. Um, here we go. And the subject would be test uh, Teams meetings. Okay. And oh, that's not right. Uh, I'll type in the wrong place. Okay, and the subject would be and the demo teams meeting. All right. Okay, so that's my time, and you can see the scheduling free busy. And all right, so two 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 thirty. I'll make it until like three uh, three thirty, and he hit send. Right, so you can invite more people if you want to, but right now hit send. All right, so once you hit the send button, uh, in a couple of seconds, the, the Teams room system will accept the meeting and it will say the meeting accepted and it will show up on the screen. Let's watch for a couple of seconds. Oh, by the way, it's already there. Okay, so see, I just sent in meeting invite. Now it just displays the join button. Now, <clears throat> all I have to do is walk into the conference room and hit the join button. Okay, so now, it's just joined, right? So this is a, there is a, the Teams UI, um, and you have a video option here, right? So at the bottom video, uh, the layout, the microphone, you can end, you can present uh, with, the, with the cable, um, um, and you have a video, everything is automatically started. So, and then there are a few users, let's say they are remote, and what looks like is I'm just gonna join the, the meeting uh, from the Teams client. So where is my Teams? Here we go. And I'm joining now. Uh, okay. So as soon as it's joined, and the meeting uh, started. So that there is a there is my, my picture here. I'm not transmitting video. So let me. I can actually transmit video. So let's. I can hit the transmit video button. You'll see me. This is uh, coming from a laptop to the Skype room system and vice versa.
Okay, so now I have two-way video going. You can see it's how fluid it is. It's, it's really simple to use um, audio video. Now I want to do is content sharing, right? So let's start with I want to um, I want to share a presentation. Okay, so I want to click on PowerPoint and in a couple of seconds see what happens. It's uploading and da 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 da. Come on. All right, so the video went up. And then the content will display it. And that, that actually, uh, attachment is actually about 20 meg in size. So this is really big, right? So it it's really works seamlessly. So I'm going to change the slide, slide number two. And, and you can you, you notice on the left side, it instantly changes the, the slide, you know, two. It's just really not any lagging, right? So it's slide three, slide four, right? So slide five, slide six. It's instantly um, changing to the new slides. All right, so now I'm gonna turn off the video just in case. Um, all right, so now I want to uh, share my screen um, and see how the desktop sharing, the, the it, it, how it, you know, how it fluid looks, like, how much it, there's a lag or anything like that. You know, I have heard many of our customers that may have the Skype, some, you know, lagging issue in the screen share and stuff like that. I never encountered, I did, but just not that much. But let's see in the Teams. Uh, let's see, I'm going to screen share. All right, so I'm, I'm scaring my screen. And I'm going to play a video um, and see if you can actually compare left side, which is that the room system display. And this is my laptop. I'm going to play the video. And you can see how, how, um, how much delay it is. Emergency generators provide backup power for extended outages and for planned maintenance, and can operate the data center with on-site fuel reserves in the event of a natural disaster. As you can see, it, it's really, um, uh, it's really look like real time. A very, very um, uh, small lag. I mean, it's unnoticeable, right? It's, it's, it's microsecond, I guess. Okay, I'm going to pause that. <clears throat> so what are the options if somebody walks into the meeting room and then share the screen that, as you see, there's a SDMI cable that goes in back into the unit that you can plug into your, your computer and you can display. Uh, or the, your, your users, you can join as a guest uh, through the web browser. You don't have to dial, uh, sorry, to join any, um, through the full client. It's, it's a browser-based. You can join as a guest. Um, and the whole point is you want, you walk into the meeting room, we have one touch meeting experience with audio video content, everything is ready to go and it's just smooth. It just works. It's really simple. Thank you. Um, the one more thing is, uh, the meeting recording, right? So, uh, once you, let's, let me open this, this, uh, meeting here, as you can see here, um, three dots, you can click on that. You can say, start recording. And you can hit on the start recording button. It will record the entire meeting with audio, video, and content, and everything, what, what, whatever it displayed in all the, the audio. And it will post that, uh, that meeting into your channel, wherever the meeting was created. And you can actually uh, and share or edit uh, whatever, uh, uh, you know, whatever you can do through Microsoft Streams. So it automatically uploads into the cloud. It doesn't save into your hard drive. It's, it's safer and you can easily share within your organization, okay? Um, yeah, that's all. Um, and if you connect with your, um, one last thing, if you connect with your uh, your on-prem PBX, and let me show you what, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, if you want to make like four-digit dialing, like there is a the dial pad, and if you, if you want to call like, you know, your Cisco or Via phone, you can make that happen too. Uh, just reach me out with what we call is a direct connect uh, in Teams. So your, your, this system also connects to your P, you know, existing any kind of PBX uh, through SBC, all right? So we have that solution as well. Um, so yeah, audio, video, content, um, connections with your existing PBX, um, everything's available through one touch, but one touch of buttons. So it's really simple for users to use. All right, guys, take care. Bye.